International Armored Group has designed a remarkable armored crane that's perfect for rescue and evacuation operations in dangerous areas. Not only does it offer protection against attacks with 7.62 by 51 mm NATO ammunition, but it also safeguards against mine explosions under the vehicle and collisions with wheels or tracks. This impressive crane features a two-person crew, a driver, and an operator, and can handle loads up to 13 tons. Available in either a 4x4 or 6x6 wheel configuration, it is powered by a robust 380 horsepower diesel engine, making it both versatile and powerful for tough missions. The M104 Wolverine Heavy Assault Bridge may look like an architect's dream and an engineer's nightmare, but this unique and beautiful piece of machinery is as handy as they come. Designed to help armies cross large bodies of water, the Wolverine passes all speed, mobility, and survivability tests with flying colors. It features an advanced communication system to keep in contact with field commanders, and is operated by two crewmen sitting within the hull. The bridge is carried in two sections stacked above the hull, and once the site is chosen, the vehicle anchors itself using a spade. The two sections are then joined together, extended across the water, and dropped into place. After crossing, the vehicle retrieves the bridge by reversing the process, all within minutes, and without the crew ever leaving their cabin. Capable of supporting a 70-ton vehicle moving at 10 miles per hour, the Wolverine is a significant asset for any military, even though it is unarmed. Panhard introduced their crab buggy back in 2012, and it looks like John Cocker had a similar idea with their Cockerel IX, first shown in March 2022. Both vehicles seem to have been designed by the same team, with experts highlighting their versatility, high speeds, and advanced technology. For example, the crab has an unmanned turret, while the Cockerel boasts AI algorithms and specialized helmets. Both vehicles can be equipped with 25 or 30 mm cannons, but the Cockerel is faster, reaching speeds of 200 km per hour compared to the crab's 100 km per hour. However, the crab can drive sideways, living up to its name. Which one do you prefer? The Chaser 980B6 is a versatile armored boat, designed for a range of tasks, from anti-piracy raids and search operations to infantry transport and emergency assistance. It can speed up to 93 kilometers per hour and comfortably accommodates two crew members and four passengers. One of its standout features is its compact size, allowing it to fit into a standard 12-meter long sea container for easy transportation. The boat boasts bulletproof windows and a fully armored cockpit made from ballistic steel, ensuring maximum protection on any mission. The Multiple Cradle Launcher is one of those names that instantly commands attention, and it's just as formidable as it sounds. This 95-foot-long vehicle is unique to the United Arab Emirates Army, and is manufactured locally. It features 240 tubes, and operates as a powerful multiple rocket launcher. Designed to maximize efficiency, this system allows a crew of three to perform tasks that would typically require 30 personnel, which is especially beneficial given the UAE's smaller military force. The Jabaria Defense System, as it's called, boasts four rocket launchers attached to a trailer, each carrying 60mm rockets. It can fire high-explosive warheads with impressive speed. The entire load can be launched in under two minutes, achieving a firing rate of two rounds per second. Recently, it has seen action in the Yemeni Civil War during the Saudi-led intervention. If it's raining, you should bring an umbrella. But if there are protests, you might want to bring the police barricade tactical vehicle. These mobile barricades are used worldwide, like the South Korean model Gino Rex. Not only can it push back protesters, but it also has a water cannon system that can hit targets up to 70 meters away. Made of steel, each section of the barricade is 4 meters wide and can unfold in just 60 seconds from the cabin. The Gino Rex comes in 4x2 and 6x4 configurations and is equipped with several cameras and a video recording system, making it a versatile tool for maintaining order.
The next vehicle on our list is perfect for assault teams. The standout feature of the Inca's Sentry is its folding ramp, which makes it easy to quickly climb into buildings, trains, and even ships. But that's not all it has to offer. The Sentry can seat up to 10 people, is powered by a robust 330 horsepower diesel engine, and is armored to withstand rifle fire. Plus, the manufacturer offers optional features like a siren and a PA system, making it an excellent choice for various tactical operations. Named after the Finnick Fox, this uniquely designed armored reconnaissance vehicle serves both the German and Dutch armies, notably deployed to Afghanistan in support of ISAF. Developed with a prototype in April 2000 and completing field trials by 2001, the vehicle features four wheels with selectable two- or four-wheel drive, powered by a Deutz diesel engine, generating 179 kilowatts for a top speed of 71 miles per hour. Its primary equipment includes an observation package on an extendable mast, with a thermal imager, daylight camera, and laser rangefinder, integrated with a robust navigation system for precise targeting and data transmission across digital battlefield networks. For versatility, it can mount a 12.7mm machine gun, a Rafael Spike anti-tank missile, or a 40mm automatic grenade launcher, all while providing comprehensive protection against 7.62mm rounds and optional additional armor, alongside air conditioning for nuclear, biological, and chemical warfare protection. Some years ago, Turkey embarked on building its first universal landing ship, aiming to enhance personnel transport and landing capabilities. To address this, they launched the Zaha program. As part of this initiative, the Turkish defense company FNSS developed the FNSS Zaha, an amphibious armored personnel carrier, introduced to the Turkish army last year. Capable of transporting personnel on water at 13 km per hour and on land at 70 km per hour, it accommodates up to 21 people, including the commander, gunner, and driver. Its basic armament includes a 40mm grenade launcher and a 12.7mm machine gun, complemented by a smoke generator. A notable feature is its removable blocks, ensuring the APC can safely navigate waves up to four points. Strike Group is a versatile company involved in projects ranging from bulletproof glass to mobile checkpoints. What's particularly fascinating is their expertise in military equipment. They manufacture a wide range, from compact armored vehicles to massive APCs with 8x8 wheel arrangements. They also undertake special orders, such as the MADF, designed for air defense and capable of off-road use. If you're curious to learn more, Strike Group encourages you to reach out via email for further details. The M3, much like its predecessor the M2, was designed to navigate both roads on its four wheels and bodies of water, using two large aluminum pontoons for buoyancy. This self-propelled bridging vehicle plays a crucial role in deploying tanks across waterways. Development began in 1982, and by 1992, a prototype was delivered, leading to 64 orders by 1994, primarily from the German and British armies. It has since been adopted by the Taiwan and Singapore armies, with Singapore reportedly using an upgraded version known as the M3G. This variant includes an armored cabin and air conditioning, essential for comfort during operations. Operating as a 4x4 vehicle with a maximum speed of 80 km per hour on land and 14 km per hour in water, multiple rigs can be joined to form bridges spanning up to 100 meters, facilitating the crossing of military vehicles like jeeps and tanks. The Arcus Scarab made its debut at the Paris Air Show, which might seem surprising until you realize this armored vehicle can be transported by both planes and helicopters, and even airdropped from a special platform. The Scarab is no slouch either, boasting a top speed of 130 km per hour and the ability to move sideways like a crab to avoid exposing its sides to enemy fire. It has room for three passengers, plus a driver, and is powered by a diesel-electric hybrid engine. Additionally, its swinging doors provide extra protection for disembarked soldiers. The Stenner Complex was developed to meet the needs of law enforcement officers. Kalashnikov specialists managed to cut deployment time in half, 
allowing Stinner to be set up in just 3.5 minutes to block aggressive groups. The barrier spans nearly 8 meters wide and adjusts its shape as it moves, with the load transferring to the vehicle's frame. It also features a blade capable of breaking through barricades and moving obstacles weighing up to 2.5 tons. Plus, built-in lights in the fence sections ensure efficient operation at any time of day. Some military jeeps and vehicles have become outdated due to newer technology, like the Volkswagen Schwimmwagen, now rendered obsolete by massive machines carrying their own bridges for 60-ton vehicles to cross water. However, some vehicles have stood the test of time and are still in use today. One such vehicle is the Keeler, a mine-clearing vehicle developed in Germany. Its primary job is to clear safe lanes through minefields for soldiers and vehicles. Equipped with a heavy-duty mine flail, rotating cylinder mounted between two arms in the front, it uses 24 chains to detonate mines safely by simulating the pressure of a human foot. The Keeler can quickly clear a lane 15 feet wide and 390 feet long in just 10 minutes. While it lacks defensive weapons, it does come with smoke grenade dischargers. Remember the Geno Rex barricade truck? Its manufacturer also developed another remarkable vehicle, the Titan 15. Ingeniously designed, this truck allows both the engine and water cannons to be controlled from a central operating room, enhancing safety compared to other similar vehicles. It can double as a mobile command center, with water cannons that can reach up to 90 meters and a 15,000-liter water reserve. The Titan 15 also features cameras for 360-degree visibility and includes a launcher for smoke and tear gas grenades. The CB90HSM is a high-speed boat made by Saab, an upgraded version of the original CB90 known for its quick and easy disembarking on rocky shores, since its debut in 1991. Still designed for coastal waters, the CB90HSM features two Scania diesel engines, producing a combined 1,800 horsepower, allowing it to reach speeds of up to 83 km per hour and travel 1,482 km on a single tank. It can seat up to 21 people, including three crew members, and its interior has been modernized for enhanced comfort. The boat can also be equipped with various weapons and electronics, such as automatic grenade launchers, non-lethal weapons, thermal imagers, and laser rangefinders. Essentially, the CB90HSM is now faster, more maneuverable, and better at observing its surroundings. The Swedish Navy plans to use these boats until at least 2040. Today's image comes from a subscriber, and it looks like a massive tank, something straight out of a Star Wars movie. It definitely looks impressive. After looking into it, we found out it's just a 3D model. But don't be disappointed, because we have something just as exciting to share with you. And here we have Alvis Saracen 2 Malawian Quachas. The UK is known for its unique approach to tank construction, with armored fighting vehicles often described as peculiar. For instance, the Challenger is the only modern NATO tank to have a rifled gun. British designers have also made surprising choices with APCs, such as the Saracen FE603. This wheeled APC, produced from 1952 to 1970, still turns heads today despite only about 1,000 units being made. Widely used and even making its way to Indonesia, the Saracen FE603 can seat up to 12 people, including three crew members. It boasts a top speed of 72 km per hour and a range of 390 km. Additionally, it comes equipped with two machine guns, one with a caliber of 7.62 mm and the other with a caliber of 7.7 mm. You might be surprised to learn that the Baron series of vehicles is made by a company that originally worked in aviation. But don't worry, these Barons only fly on the roads, reaching speeds of up to 100 km per hour. What's really cool about these vehicles is their modular design. For example, you can transform a Baron into an ambulance with room for four stretchers or into a truck that can carry up to 10 tons. Despite all that versatility, they still offer a decent level of protection. According to media reports, the Baron can keep its crew and passengers safe from a 6 kg explosive projectile from 80 meters away.
Finally, let's talk the LD1. ATVs are known for their agility but lack protection. That's where the LD1 upgrade comes in. While it may seem simple, with ballistic shields mounted on a frame customized for a specific ATV model, don't underestimate it. The LD1 offers 360 degrees protection and has passed rigorous tests under the NIJ standard, one of the toughest in the world. It can even withstand ammunition fire up to 7.62 by 51 millimeters.